Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm at Frankfurt Airport and I'll soon be flying with Lufthansa on the Boeing 747-8 across the Atlantic over to Newark. I arrived in Frankfurt on a connecting flight from Luxembourg with Lufthansa City Line, so I had a few hours here before heading to this next flight. I'm currently walking to the very end of the Z concourse here in Frankfurt where the aircraft is waiting. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy the video. Here's my aircraft. This 747-8 is registered as Delta Alpha Bravo Yankee Lima and was delivered to Lufthansa in 2014. Okay, so we're now on our seat on the Lufthansa 747-8 to bring us to Newark this afternoon. Over here we have a IFE screen with a couple of controls over there. We have a literature pocket there with the safety card for the 747 along with Lufthansa's in-flight magazine. Then we have a tray table with a little cup holder down there. We also have a seatback pocket with more magazines and stuff. Legroom is decent. It's not a whole lot for uh, Eight hour flight and sometimes the 13 hour flights that this aircraft does but it's it's good enough for what we're doing with it today ife control panel here with like volume and stuff we also got like a blanket here and a pillow so that's pretty sweet should be a nice flight back to newark with the 747 enjoy the rest of the video
After a very lengthy takeoff roll, we finally took off from Runway 25 Center in Frankfurt around an hour and 20 minutes behind schedule. As we flew over Scotland, the in-flight lunch service began. I had some chicken with broccoli and this sweet potato thing. It also came with a roll, cheese, a small salad, and a piece of cake for dessert. Let's have a quick look at Lufthansa's in-flight entertainment. They have a decent selection of movies in both German and English, and you can also watch documentaries, listen to music, or play games. The in-flight map is also pretty nice, but the screen wasn't the most responsive. Before we began the descent, the crew handed out a small sandwich, which is pretty decent. As we descended towards Newark over upstate New York, we hit quite a bit of turbulence from some nearby thunderstorms. left in Newark around half an hour behind schedule after flying for 7 hours and 39 minutes cruising at 32,000 feet. This was a very nice flight, and despite the seat being a bit cramped, it was still pretty comfortable. Thank you guys for watching this video, I'll see y'all next time, goodbye.